What's up guys? Man, it feels good to be back. Uh, I promise I did not mean to go this long between uploads. Uh, such a long time in between. I was actually offered a job uh, as a media producer at a place uh, in the city where I do production and editing for TV and web content. And in taking that job, it came with quite a bit of a learning curve, switching over, learning a whole new editing program. Uh, switching over from PC to Mac, um, just a, a big learning curve and all the while getting projects done with them uh, to the point that now it's kind of too, you know, I, I'm real familiar and I don't have to dedicate so much time to uh, learning the ropes essentially. But uh, yeah, it's a really cool job, I enjoy it, a lot of really, really good equipment. Um, that I might start bringing home and using for the videos because it's really high quality stuff. So yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with that. Really, really enjoy the job and now I can have media producer on my resume, which is awesome. Also, in the time between the last upload and now, I've converted my whole shop to LED, which is nice. We don't have that depressing kind of yellowy glow with all the flickers and, and listen, no humming from any ballast resistors. It's like dead silent in here. I, I really like it and it's definitely paying off too on the energy consumption. So yeah, big fan of the LED. So in that time between the last upload and now, uh, that whole thing was going on and uh, I was putting feelers out uh, for another project. Yes, I know I have the white truck, but I started thinking about it and especially for YouTube, why would I just wanna do the same project over again, even if just did the Crown Vic uh, front cross member swap thing. In the end, I'd still end up with a unibody pickup short bed that I already have. And I, you know, I get on this thing where I, I really like unibodies and when one comes up for sale, I just, I don't really think it through and just go grab it if it's a good price. And that's essentially what I did. And I started thinking about it, I was like, if I'm gonna dedicate time to another, time and money to another project, uh, Let's just go with something that I've always wanted to do. And I don't know if you guys remember this from some of the other videos, but, but look back here. Thinking about getting on another project. It's a bucket list car for me, as is for a lot of guys. Model A Coupe, I think that's gonna be the next project. The goal with the Y block is I'm going to finally build my dream car. Basically, I'm searching for a Ford five window coupe body and do a traditional hot rod with a Y block V8. Yeah, this is down the road a little ways, but that is the plan for now. The poor Mustangs just getting pushed off to the side yet again. And that is exactly what we have here. 1931 Model A five window coupe. An absolute dream car, that is for sure. This one is pretty clean, especially for the Midwest, uh, as far as that goes. This is the good side. Uh, the other side is a little rough. We do have a deck lid back here. Yeah, the floors are all rotted out as to be expected. Uh, a little rough down here and up there, but that's what they make patch panels for. It's still got still got its transmission and everything and uh, differential still still actually works. It's still got the old four cylinder in it. Um, which I'm guessing is original. As far as the frame goes, I'm probably going to have to get a new frame um, or, or build one. As far as the rust goes, the pitting is so deep that even if I box, fully box this frame, it's still not, not something I would be overly confident in driving my son around in. But yeah, Model A five window coupe. Also got a lot of parts in the deal. The bumper, uh, some brackets and stuff there, the hood and a couple of sets. Uh, there's a passenger and a driver door there. It's kind of hard to believe the windows are still in this thing. Here's where my 351 Windsor sat. Um, I put that up on Facebook Marketplace and a guy got a hold of me and said he wanted to use it for his car because he wanted to build a high horsepower V8 and uh, he wanted to buy it off me and then he said that he doesn't trust a Y block. I was like, oh you got a Y block because uh, that's what I wanted to use on this. And so we worked out a deal and traded. I got to see on FaceTime this engine running and it sounded great. Uh, the, the odometer on the car 
uh, only had 42,000 miles, so hopefully that's all it is, but we'll see. It, it, does, it does run really smooth. This motor has the uh, Fordomatic automatic transmission on it. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use that yet. Uh, we'll see. I was kind of thinking about a C4 or going with the 5-speed uh, or 4-speed route. That decision has not been made yet. Oh, yeah, and there's a golf cart over there. That's new, too. Uh, that was given to me for free. And with my hoarding situation, I can't say no to free stuff with a motor and wheels. It is gas-powered, too, so that's cool. Now, sitting in the bed of this here unibody is probably one of the coolest speed parts I've ever bought, and I am super excited about is this old, probably 50s, early 60s, Wyand aluminum intake with triple deuces, Stromberg 97s for a Y block. That is just going to look fantastic on this car. It is just absolutely gorgeous, and shout out to Tim for selling it to me. Thanks, buddy. It's found a good home. The plan is a period correct, mid to late 50s, high boy, uh, but down low in the weeds. Possible tasteful chop. Maybe not though. It's kind of hard not to. Uh, it's kind of hard not to chop it, but at the same time to see them, you know, to find one that hasn't been chopped. I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Um, I'm thinking as far as color, a deep blue. This will not be a rat rod. Hey, I want to make it. Like, the whole reason of getting the Y block is to go for a period correct mid to late 50s, possibly early 60s style high boy five window coupe. But don't hold the high boy thing against me either. I still <laughs> I may channel it. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. But no, it's not going to be a... Uh, not gonna be a rat rod. So the deal on that Y block was another kind of uh, funny little story. He, like I said, he called and he said he didn't trust a Y block and he wanted to build a high horsepower, you know, 351. And I, my ears perked up. I was like, you got a Y block? Because I plan on using the Y block that was in the white truck here, but it's stuck and, you know, just looking for Y blocks. Uh, one that wasn't stuck, preferably. And uh, he said, yeah, I've got one. Um, and it runs, and then we did the uh, FaceTime thing, and he started up and ran it for me and everything. And uh, I got pretty excited about that, and we decided I'm just to go ahead and just swap, swap engines. Uh, he came and dropped it off, and uh, very excited. But the funny thing about it was the car that this Y block was in that, he, that he's going to be putting the 351 Windsor into is a 1956 Ford Crown Victoria. So now both of my project car, hot rod, whatever, uh, are going to have Crown Victoria powertrains, which is fantastic. A common misconception on the Y block is that it's not a reliable motor, and this is, uh, it's not true. Um, it is a super reliable motor. They did have a stigma about them, uh, about being unreliable because they were having some head oiling issues. The, the oil galleys, that, you know, the oil wasn't getting into the heads uh, in, the, in the proper way. Well, what was really happening, it was the oils that they were using back then are not up to the standard that the oils they use today. So in a modern day setting, the Y block is a totally reliable and really cool engine. They have the same, I believe it's the exact same firing order that the flatheads had. So nothing, nothing really sounds like a Y block. They've got their own really cool sound. I'll play a clip, in fact. I know you guys running Y blocks already know all this. It's just for let's let's just clear the stigma for people that may not that may have heard uh, that they are unreliable. Uh, that's just not the not the case. Not anymore. Oh, it also came with the original headlights. It's cool. It's still got the Ford logo on it. And those of you that follow me on Instagram probably saw the post where I put the white truck up for sale. It did sell to a very very close friend of mine who, guess what, is going to frame swap it. So it'll still be in the family, it'll still be in the videos, because I'm gonna go over there and help him with things here and there. Um, he, he wanted my help with it, and I said I'd be more than happy to do that, and so I'll just bring my camera along, and we'll get uh, the updates on the white truck. It's not going far, 
Uh, and that's really cool. That's exciting to me. I, that worked out the best way it possibly could. Because I decided to see it go, but I'm happy I'm going to be uh, hands-on on the frame swap of this one. So that being said, once this truck is out of here and into his garage, the Model A will be wheeled into its position and then we'll pop the body off and we'll get going on tearing down this frame. Uh, this will all be pretty soon, hopefully. He, he's uh, clearing out space in his garage right now, so hopefully within the next week or so, this truck will be gone and Model A will be in its place and we'll be pulling stuff apart. Really excited about that. As for the blue truck here, I still haven't decided on the exhaust or anything. It just it, it's just kind of sitting here hibernating in the winter here in Iowa. It's a little ridiculous out as far as uh, temperatures. It's just not a, a good time to be driving on salty roads. I also want to thank you guys that reached out and said, uh, how you doing? When are you going to make another video? Uh, I do appreciate that very much. Uh, it's, it's cool to know that you guys enjoy this because I enjoy doing it. And uh, to have it uh, mutually enjoyable is, is nice. I really appreciate that. Another cool thing about the Model A, it came with a title. So that's just, it works out great. You don't often find titles on 90, you know, that come with 90 year old vehicles. So that was definitely a, a big bonus for sure. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I definitely appreciate it and look for, you won't have to wait many, many months between for the next video of that much. I promise. I'm sorry about that. I hated being gone that long, but it's good to be back. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.